This is the third and final video that walks through the new uh, Assessment Blueprint Excel workbook. In the first video, we worked on the learning targets, identified their cognitive complexity, and got that all set up. In the second video, we planned the items for each learning target, uh, and I walked through the first learning target, right, good multiple choice items in that video, um, and then I've now completed the rest of the learning target. Now we're going to talk about balancing the points. So we completed steps one, two, three, and four, and now we're on five, which is where we check it for balance. Um, so let me enlarge this here. Uh, I went through and filled in the same format of items. So there's going to be 10 multiple choice, 10 binary choice. Each section is going to have two for each item type. So the five different item types follow a very, very parallel style. But when we get here to learning target six, build scoring guides for constructed response items, I went ahead and created a restricted response and an extended response for each item type. Uh, and made those two points apiece. Now, as you recall, the um, extended response items for each item type involved creating an item of that type, and then I tacked on an additional two points that would be uh, points the student would earn for creating the uh, scoring guide for those items. Um, and we'll go ahead and come back to this uh, in a moment, um, but first let's check the balance. So each learning target is going to follow roughly the same distribution uh, as the multiple choice learning target, so we won't review that too closely. But you'll see that there's now 12 points on the assessment that deal with multiple choice items, which represents 15% of the total score. Now, 17% was the target because I wanted all of these learning targets to be equivalent. So if this is at 15%, that means something is worth more than expected. And here it is, it's learning target six, building scoring guides for constructed response items, has a total of 20 points on the assessment, which is one quarter of the total grade. Now, I don't believe that this learning target is that much more important than the others. They really are sort of balanced. But let's take a look at what I have going on here for the items and the complexity. If we look at this learning target, build scoring guides for constructed response items, right? I have five restricted response and five uh, extended response listed here. The scoring guides really are only necessary for the constructed response items, however. So I'm really only going to measure student understanding of scoring guides on constructed response items. And there's only two types of constructed response items. Technically, we could, we could talk about three, short answer, restricted response essay, and extended response essay. But when it comes to forming uh, scoring guides, Restricted response and extended response essays are quite similar. Um, I might want to have some restricted response items uh, related to point-based systems, checklists, and rubrics. So that'll be three of those, but the extended response points are coming from extended response items uh, on these different item types. So you'll make a short answer item and that'll be an extended response and there'll be two points for the scoring guide for that and the same for an essay. So really there's only two 
of those. So when I break it down that way, now it looks like things have come back into balance. There's 17% of the points here. The blueprint is worth slightly less, or the, the excuse me, the scoring guides are worth slightly less. So that's 14% here. I think we've maybe got some rounding errors that make this come just shy of 100 when it's all added up, but that's, that's fine there. Now let's take a look at the complexity for the overall assessment across the entire blueprint. Now, uh, there are no items at the remember level, none at the apply level, so those are at zero. The low level items include remember and understand. So 20 points on the total assessment come from items at the understand level, which is 29% of the total score. If you recall, uh, the guideline is that no more than 50% on the of points on the assessment should come from low complexity items. Since 29 is less than 50, that's good. That's done, right? More points for a learning target should come from items at its target complexity than from any other level. So when we look at that, all of these targets are create conceptual knowledge. So uh, when we look at the points by complexity per learning target, at the create level, there's five points available evaluate three and understand four. So there's more points at the create level than at any other level. Now this does not mean that you have to have more points at the create level than all of the other levels combined. This is just saying that I shouldn't have more points at understand than I do at create or more points at remember than I do at create. Right? So because I've got five points here, that's higher than the others, so that recommendation is also met. And then if any items are included that exceed the target complexity or go beyond what was uh, taught in class, that doesn't happen here, although I probably could ask some particularly high-level questions that weren't necessarily taught but, go, but build on and go beyond what was taught. Um, but I don't have anything like that here. So I don't need to concern myself about this recommendation. So it looks like everything is in roughly good, roughly decent balance. Now that I've changed the items associated with scoring guides. So I hope that these videos were helpful and I look forward to seeing your work.